Lord God, this morning we pray that you would indeed visit us in your power and grace, that you would listen to the cries of your people, we pray, those working on the front line in medicine and care home nursing, those working in scientific research, virology and epidemiology, those providing essential services to the community, those continuing to work and teach in our schools. Give them strength, we pray, physically and mentally for the demands of these days. For those working in government and law enforcement, often having to make difficult and unpopular decisions, give them wisdom and grace and courage, we pray. For those in business, in the hospitality industry, the travel industry, the self-employed and small businesses, for those recently made redundant or about to be made redundant, for university students frustrated at the restrictions on their life and education, concerned about not getting home for Christmas in the short term and about lack of job opportunities in the long term. We pray that you would provide for all of those in need and give hope to those who are fearful or depressed. For those still unable to grieve properly the loss of a loved one, for those fearing for family members who are currently critically ill, for those who are confused and not able to understand why family can't visit them and who feel that they may be going into their final days and nights alone. Draw near with all your comfort and compassion. and Give them your sweet assurance that you walk with them through the dark valley and that with you they are never abandoned. Also, Lord, we pray that we'll be able to look beyond our own circumstances and even our own land. We pray for those countries for whom a pandemic is simply another in a long list of evils to be visited on them on top of famine or flood or civil war. We pray for those seeking to bring peace and, to, and bring relief to places like Yemen and Ethiopia. And finally for ourselves, we ask that you would help us in the midst of our own challenges to be a blessing, an inspiration and agents of healing and hope to those we encounter this week. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.